Hi there, it's Martin from Talky Monkey. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I practice my technique. Usually I start with this kind of exercise taught to me by Oren Marshall in patterns of fourths and fifths going round the circle of fifths. I use this mainly to work on my diaphragm using no tongue at all when performing the exercise and also to just expand my jazz language. This really helps when I'm improvising to keep a uh, kind of note of patterns I can use. For the second exercise, I'm using a concert C drone and I am kind of uh, practicing all the ideas I've used in my technique exercises. So right now I'm using a little bit of patterns and also maybe using some language that I've been learning recently. I feel like this is a very good way to kind of practice not only your tuning, but also kind of uh, how you improvise and what you're wanting to sound like. It's a good way to test out new ideas. So the main thing I do when I practice technique is just go right back to basics using uh, two or three books that I always go back to. One's a 20 minute warm up by Michael Davis, one's Sing, Buzz, Blow, Play by Mark Reynolds, and I like to use like Bordoni studies. Um, and they're just basic technique exercises that I can kind of lock into and, and think about my breathing sound, my tuning, lots of slurring and different scale patterns to help um, with note articulation and yeah I kind of always go back to them when I'm practicing technique and I think back to basics is just a great way of keeping on top of everything and, and always making sure that you're happy with how you play. I also find it to be a really useful way of catching any bad habits that I might pick up when I'm um, yeah, when you go back to basics, you, you notice <laughs> it quite quickly. And then the second thing I like to think about is how then I can push myself within those basics. Can I play longer phrases? Can I breathe quieter? Can I play notes louder, quieter? Um, what different scale patterns can I use? How fast can I do that double tonguing exercise um, and I th so I think going back to basics is great and also then within that pushing yourself to your limit of, of where you're kind of comfortable um, at playing so you're always improving even though you're going back to the same exercises.